Now we have long-term data to say, hey, if you're going to prescribe this medication for your patients, you can expect to see continued efficacy over time. You're not going to see a drop-off, so it's going to continue to work. And more importantly, the side effect profile that you see early on will stay the same later on, so you're not going to learn anything new or have to watch out for anything new. Now, obviously, more data on that is going to be needed, so we're going to continue to collect data moving forward. So if there's any new information that changes our thoughts on this, we'll be sure to uh, you know, address it. One of the things we saw, as we saw similarly in the other studies, was there are patients who can have an increase in their liver enzymes. But in the majority, and in case in our study, all but three, those results went back down to normal. And they went back down to normal by doing one of three things, either reducing your CBD medication or stopping it, reducing or stopping your concomitant valproic acid, or actually in some patients doing nothing. So when you do nothing, some of those patients also self-resolved. So I think that's an important thing that we learned as far as long-term data that we didn't quite know as it relates to the short-term data. You know, what was interesting, I think, but this was expected for somebody who does pediatric epilepsy, that t fever was a common side effect that was reported. And I think that's important for me to explain because fever is a very common occurrence in all pediatric patients. For anybody who has kids, it's very rare to go one year without their child having a fever. So I think it was more related to that than a really associated with the medication. So I don't want people to be confused by that. But one of the things we saw that was similar to the other studies was tiredness remained as the number one reported side effect. No, I think that what we now have seen is, and demonstrated is that this could be a treatment for patients with Lennox-Gastaut syndrome and Dravet syndrome, and that efficacy and safety can be maintained over time. So those are the most important points that I want to convey from this poster, and it's reassuring to me that we saw that.